Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Carbony Plus. Um, just want to take a minute and share with you some hardware we're using on this project. We are in the middle of a table build, so we need to connect our table aprons to our legs. And so we're using this uh, hidden fastener. It's new to us. It's from uh, Connaught Connectors. I think I'm saying that right. Um, they've got a full catalog of all kinds of hidden fasteners. So we're using their duo system. Um, it's two identical pieces. One recesses into the end grain of your apron. The other surface mounts on your post and they just simply lock together. Pop them together and they're locked together. And they self tighten. So as you knock them down, it gets tighter. Um, like I said, they've got a full catalog of hidden fasteners um, with all kinds of different sizes for different applications. Um, this is the one we felt was gonna work for us. So we'll start in and uh, show you what it's all about. All right, so on the website, when you're buying your stuff, you, know, you find what connector is gonna work for you. There's different widths, there's different lengths. Um, they actually sell this jig here. Um, I know as woodworkers, a lot of times we like to build our own. Um, I thought about doing that as well, but then I thought that surely they've gotten some stuff figured out here that it would give me a jump start. So I went ahead and bought the jig. Um, so you also need this one inch bushing to go in your router plate. Uh, the Porter cable routers already are made to receive that. If you do not have the Porter cable, they sell these uh, base plates for your router. They fit, looks like just about every other kind of router there is, and it gives you that uh, spot in the middle to receive the bushing. Um, and then you can also buy the router bit. So depending on your size, you'll have to figure out what size router bit to buy. So other than that, um, you just get your jig adjusted to fit the apron pieces. All right, so the jig's got height adjustments. It's also got these wings here that you can adjust in and out. So you would simply just center up your jig on the slot on the back side and insert your piece. Now, one thing I did, because I built my aprons before I made, uh, before this arrived, is I've already got this bulldoze piece on there. So what we've, I've got it, my template offset that distance, I may have made a little filler piece. So we'll put our apron in upside down. We'll slip that filler piece in there just to kind of help hold its place. And then we're good to go. So we'll do all of one end of each piece and then we'll adjust the template and then do the other end of each piece. Once your template's all set, um, you're ready to get started. So I always recommend uh, using some scraps to make a test piece. So uh, that's what I've got here. And uh, so we've run a test piece on this, cutting the groove, slot our bracket on the other piece, fit those together. And this is actually test piece number two. We've got another one over here. So this was number one. So on this one, we figured out I needed to go a little bit deeper. And then the holes on this part right here needed to be adjusted about a 16th of an inch. So a um, little bit of trial and error, but I think that's always the case. So it's always good to use some scrap blocks to do some test pieces before you start. So with that all being said, we'll dive right in and uh, start cutting our mortises. Okay, so now that we've cut all of our mortises, we're ready to move the jig out of the way and start installing our uh, hardware. So we have one piece that goes in the groove. It will get the longer screws in the end grain, and then the other piece surface mounts to our legs, and it will get uh, the shorter screws um, as provided. Okay, so now that we've got our hardware in our mortises, we're ready to surface mount the hardware to the posts. So you do some measuring, some laying out, 
get your marks all set up, and then we'll go through the pre-drill and uh, get our hardware on. This is where the trial and error comes in hand, handy at the beginning. Um, you know, I did some measuring, pretty much knew where I thought I wanted to be, did a couple test pieces and got that dialed in, so now I'm able to make those measurements on here. I'm not gonna get real specific on the math and the numbers because it's all different for whatever size and specific setup you have, plus all their stuff that's coming from Europe, so it's all in metric, so you gotta do your own conversions anyway. So, uh, anyway, you get your layouts done, we're ready to pre-drill and mount these. We're uh, getting real close to being able to put this together. Well, look who's right on time. Just about ready to start some assembly. He was going to need an extra set of hands, and my number one helper just walked in the door, so that's kind of convenient. So what are you building? It's a table. All right. Pre-drilling's done, and we'll go through and put the hardware on. Okay, so now that we've got all of our hardware installed, we are ready to assemble this. And uh, to give myself an extra hand or two, I've called in a little bit of extra help from my son, Nolan. So that way I'm not fumbling around trying to put these aprons on these legs. So come on over, bud. Backwards. <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. There is how we attached our table aprons to our legs. It's the duo system from Knopf Connectors. Uh, it's our first time using them, but I definitely think we'll be using them again. So I wanted to share that with everybody. And so you guys can check them out for yourselves and uh, maybe, maybe they'll be useful to you. All right, so thanks for watching.